Hello everybody, I am Jert Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and it's a quick genealogy tip. On today's quick genealogy tip, I'm going to be talking about how to hire a professional genealogist. Now there are all sorts of reasons why you will want to hire a professional genealogist. One of the main reasons why someone would want to hire a professional genealogist is for expertise. Professional genealogists have spent years doing genealogical research. Through their experience and exhaustive research, they've gained an expertise in specific genealogical topics. So if you hit a brick wall in your family tree, you may want to seek out a professional genealogist with an expertise in that topic of genealogy. Another big reason for hiring a professional genealogist is geography. You may not have direct access to certain records, and to get to those records may require hundreds if not thousands of dollars in travel costs. So hiring a genealogist in that area to go to that archive and get those records for you can save you a lot of money in the long run. One of the main reasons why people will hire a professional genealogist is because of time. It takes a lot of time and effort to build a family tree and to do the research to expand that family tree. So hiring a professional genealogist will not only save you the time of having to learn how to do the research, but their ability to do research is faster because of their experience. Even professional genealogists will sometimes need to hire other genealogists because of any of these reasons sometimes all three of them. Once you've decided that you want to hire a professional genealogist, the main thing you need to figure out is what is your genealogy question? What do you want the genealogist to find? By coming up with something that's coherent and specific to research, you're giving your professional genealogist a better idea of what to look for. As well, you're giving yourself a better idea of what type of genealogist that you want to find. Once you've figured out your research question and you understand what type of expertise you are looking for in a professional genealogist, then it's time to start looking. Now, there are all sorts of ways that you can hire a professional genealogist, and one of the best routes to go to is by looking at the directories associated with different genealogy societies and certifications. One of the first ones most people come across is APGEN, which is the Association of Professional Genealogists. And if you go to apgen.org, click on the button that says directory, and that will take you to their entire directory of all professional genealogists who are part of this society. Now some of the other places that you can find directories of genealogists is through the different certified genealogical societies. One of the main directories for this is the BCG directory, and that is the Board of Certification of Genealogists. To be part of the BCG directory, a genealogist must have gone through the BCG certification process. Another certification society with a directory you can find online is ICAPGen, and that is the International Commission for the Accreditation of Professional Genealogists. Another common place people look for professional genealogy help is through large companies such as Ancestry.com or Genealogist.com. There are many companies and genealogy firms which offer professional genealogical help. Hiring professional genealogists through these large companies is often at the higher end of the scale in terms of costs but they often have more resources available to them and they often are working in large teams so you get multiple professionals working on one project. Now at the other end of the scale you also have websites such as Fiverr which is F-I-V-E-R-R dot -R com and this is a website where anyone can offer their expertise in genealogy and a lot of the people offering research help are offering them at very low costs. So there are a lot of places where you'll be able to find a professional genealogist. The cost of hiring a professional genealogist depends on a lot of different factors. Now the average range of costs for professional genealogists 
usually goes from about $25 an hour to $125 an hour. At the lower end, you'll often find people who are starting to make their way into a professional career. You may also find people who have done genealogy for years who just want to make a little bit of extra money, so they're willing to lend a bit of help. And these are often the types of folks that you'll be able to find on websites such as Fiverr.com. Now, there are no requirements to become a professional genealogist. So anyone who has the experience can declare themselves a professional genealogist and start taking on clients. But many genealogists will go through different certification programs to prove themselves, and they'll also join societies so that they can keep up with all of the major developments in different genealogical circles. So if you're one of those people who would prefer to hire a professional genealogist who has been certified or who is associated with a certain society, you may find that their costs are going to be higher than those that you would expect from someone without that certification. When discussing the cost of hiring a professional genealogist, it should be noted that the hourly cost isn't the only thing that you're going to be paying for. Almost every single genealogist will charge for certain fees that they have to incur to do the research into your family. The most common type of fee is usually paying for records either to be shipped out or for them to be digitized or copied. You may also incur travel costs as genealogists may be required to go to a specific on-site location to do further research. One of the main things you want to make sure when you are signing a contract with a genealogist is understanding how they charge for everything and what type of fees they're going to apply to you. But when it comes to talking about what to expect from a professional genealogist, the number one thing I should mention, results not guaranteed. When it comes to genealogy research, there's no telling what can be found or what can't be found. And a lot of people have the misunderstanding that if they're going to hire a professional genealogist, their research question will be solved. It's not always possible. But even if you don't get the results you're expecting back, you should still expect a final product from that genealogist. Often this final product is in the form of what's known as a final report or a narrative. And this is often listing all of the searches that were conducted by the genealogist, listing what was found, as well as listing possible documentation that might not be able to be linked yet. But the main thing about this final report is it should follow what is known as the genealogical proof standard. And the genealogical proof standard is a set of standards from which we can judge the proof given to a genealogical conclusion. Now a big part of that standard is that any research that is put into a report that follows this genealogical proof standard should be able to be completely reproduced by another researcher by going through all of the citations listed in that report. So when you get your final report, you should expect source citations available with that report showing where the genealogist obtained that information and how you can find that information again. Thank you so much for checking out this quick genealogy tip. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it the thumbs up. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe and it's free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'm out.